Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I make new videos every single week and I have a lot of fun and festive content coming your ways for the holidays, so make sure you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. So for this week's video, you're gonna wanna grab a nice warm blanket, maybe some hot chocolate and get cozy because I'm gonna be reading you guys a Christmas bedtime story. I even dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing my coziest pair of Christmas pajamas, so I am very ready for a cozy bedtime story. So I am gonna be reading The Night Before Christmas. This is by Clement Seymour and illustrated by Charles Centauri. So relax, get cozy, and let's get into this story. Twas the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Y'all aren't ready for this, watch this. <gasps> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh, and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. I didn't know it was Donner either, but that's what it says. I always thought it was Donner. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, and the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew with my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. So that is all I have for you guys this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. Stay safe, stay healthy, make good choices, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.